Okay, I'm doing the rear suspension today, and since I'm installing adjustable rear camber bolts or camber arms, what I'm going to do before anything is I've got the car here, I've got my camera gauge on the rotor, and I've calibrated that to zero. That, oops. Uh, hard to measure this one. So I'm at 15 and one quarter inches to the bottom of the fender from the center. So 15 and a quarter inches. When I have the other suspension on, I'm going to use this camera gauge in the same location after I compress the new spring to adjust that camber arm to get it at the same angle of camber. Now since I only have one camber uh, tool like this, I am keeping it at zero where it was on the other side and I took a picture of where the bubble is here and I'm going to use that as zero when I do the right hand side. Here I removed the old uh, rear camber adjustment arm and I'm using a sharpie and a bolt to get these as close to the same length as the original so that I can do my adjustments once the springs are compressed. Okay, so I've got all my parts installed, uh, new rear connector, I can't remember what that's called, it, uh, what is that damn thing? Yeah, my steering suspension, uh, rear end link. Um, and I so we started at 15 and a quarter inches from the center to the fender. So I've jacked this wheel up with the new spring to 14 and a quarter, and you can see we're almost a degree uh, towed in negative. So I'm going to adjust this rear arm and then set the stop nuts once I'm back at zero. I'm also changing my mind on what I said earlier in this video. I jacked this right side up before I'm going to begin back up to the 15 and a quarter inches on center to fender and then reset my camera gauge. So there we are with the rear end complete. 